What's up everybody, I'm Stephen Harrell, Tiny House Listings, and today I'm gonna to share with you what I think is the best tiny house composting toilet there is. All right, so I think this is the best tiny house composting toilet or any toilet solution, period, there is for a tiny house. It's by Nature's Head, and it is a composting toilet. It uses sphagnum moss, and uh, I really like it. I just got to install it, I'm here in my dad's tiny house, which I'll be living in for a couple months until my house is ready. Um, but anyway, so we just got to installing it, and I've actually, well, not just got through, probably about a week ago, I've been using it, and I really love it. Just to go ahead and put it out there, I'm definitely not the first person to review or tell you about the uh, Nature's Head composting toilet. <clears throat> These things have actually become, like, synonymous with the tiny house movement. A lot of tiny house builders will only use the Nature's Head composting toilet because uh, they're probably like me. I know I've used every toilet you can imagine in a tiny house. Incinerating toilets. Uh, Toilets that like you roll your poop into a patty and it smells horrible. Five gallon buckets, which actually isn't a bad way to go. Uh, but we wanted to use this because my dad's planning to live in a tiny house for the long haul. These things are built for the long haul. They're the nicest tiny house uh, composting toilet there is. And I'm not going to say the most expensive, but they're definitely not cheap. I think this one was on Amazon for 960 bucks. And a lot, of, I know a lot of people you will say. You pay $960 to like turn poop, but uh, I'll show you the way this thing works. If you haven't seen it before, it's pretty, it's pretty neat. Next story on this particular toilet is that it was originally built for boats, like an RV, I mean the uh, boating industry. And uh, now you, there's even RV manufacturers who are putting these into their uh, builds because it's such a good idea. You don't have to worry about, if you're someone like me who's ever had to like flush an RV black water toilet or, um, container it is absolutely disgusting I'd rather do this any day so the whole setup is the main idea I'll just give it real quick to, to not go into too much detail but it's still give you an idea what's up this is the air intake side and this is the air I guess you could say outtake side and has a small fan that runs and so what happens is the way we uh, uh, installed this one is that the air comes in this side and then the fan sucks it out and we drill a hole through the floor and it just gets vented below. And that's for two reasons. The first reason is, of course, to make sure everything keeps stays fresh. But another thing is to speed up the actual composting, uh, is to speed up the actual composting process. Sorry, I got lost for words there for a second. Um, so from what I understand, these come in two flavors. There's one where it has a lever that comes out here, and it comes out here and you can turn it. And this one's more for tight spaces, which this is what we got anyway. So when you, go like, when you turn this, you're literally turning the uh, compost which is inside. I'll show you here in a second. Right, so the key to this composting toilet is that the urine and the poop, which is in the back, the deposit, I guess is the more politically correct way to say it, uh, is separated. Because if the, the pee, if you've ever used uh, a composting toilet, if pee gets in there, it just ruins everything. It's disgusting. Um, so what happens is, uh, you pee, I think I probably have it pretty clean in here. When you pee, uh, the water, the urine, the um, the liquids go up front then whenever you, if you have to do number two you pull this lever back and when you do it exposes the tank down in there and just to let you know a quick warning you'll see some toilet paper in there but you won't see anything gross uh, so actually you might not be able to see in there at all so when you turn the handle over here it kind of cranks things up a little bit and it, it stirs it up and makes sure all the solids are covered with sphagnum moss quick plug if you've never had this kind of beer it's pretty good so anyways, when you're ready to empty either the solid or the liquid bin, you have to um, turn this on this side, turn it down, on this side, turn it down. And when you do, you lift this up. So you can see it exposes the uh, solids bin in there, which is, from what they say, this is good for up to 90 deposits, which is a long time. For if you have just one person, and that's one per day, <laughs> uh, that's three months. And then... Here is the liquids, and you just lift that up. Let's see if I can show you. So the fan on this thing runs off of a, I think it's like one watt or something. It's so small that you can barely hear it, but there's a fan inside this housing, and uh, you have to put your ear right up to it to hear it. But anyways, uh, if you want to run the fan off of 110 like 12, uh, AC powered they have a special adapter on their website I think you have to get uh, to make that happen but this is DC powered it's connected straight to um, a battery that I drilled a hole through here and down below is um, the battery that this shares the same battery as the battery that uh, 
powers up the water pump on the house, which is uh, 55 PSI or something like that. But anyways, it's charged by a 100 watt solar panel. It's just a typical deep cell uh, marine battery. I love this thing. It's pretty amazing to me actually that uh, there's like no smell, no smell at all. And I'm sure a lot of that has to do with the fact that the fan is constantly running and um, <clears throat> it's just well built. It's very well built. It seems like one of those kind of uh, lifetime purchases, like it'll be with you forever as long as you take care of it. And the really cool thing I like also, <clears throat> there's replacement parts, I think for pretty much everything on the Nature's Head website. Uh, but anyways, I bought this on Amazon because uh, I just like buying things on Amazon. It gets there quick and if you don't like it, you can always take it back. So anyways, I left a link uh, down in the description below uh, to take you straight to it. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.